Hello everyone, welcome to Math Explorer. How to solve this nice algebra math problem? That is a times a times a plus a is equal to 10. So here we will try to find the value of a. Now how can we solve this problem? Here a is multiplied three times. So we can write this a as a cube plus this one a. And here we will move this 10 to the left hand side. So this will become negative. 10 is equal to 0. So next we will spread this minus 10 to the sum of minus 8 minus 2. So this will become a cube plus a. Now this minus 10 can be written as minus 8 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now here we can write this 8 as 2 cubes. So we will move this negative 8 to here. So this will become a cube minus 8, so 8 can be written as 2 cube plus a minus 2 is equal to 0. So here these two terms are in cubic form. So here we will use a cubic identity, a cube minus b cube identity here. So we will use this one identity here in these two terms, a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b square. So by using this cubic identity here the a is a and b is 2. So this equation will become this will become a minus 2 times a square. So a square plus a and b is 2 so this will become 2a plus b square no b is 2 so this will become 2 square plus and this term will be the same here we will close them in parentheses so this will become a minus 2 is equal to 0 now here we will take a minus 2 common from these two terms so this equation will become taking a minus 2 common so here this will become a square plus 2a plus 2 square is 4 and here only 1 is left is equal to 0. So further this equation will become a minus 2 times a square plus 2a 4 plus 1 is 5 is equal to 0. Now here the product of this linear and this quadratic equation is 0. So here either this linear equation will be 0 or this quadratic equation will be 0. So from here we will get two equations. The first equation is a minus 2 is equal to 0. And the second equation is a square plus 2a plus 5 is equal to 0. Now here first we will solve this one equation and here we will move this negative 2 to the right hand side so it will become positive 2 and this equation will become a is equal to 2. So a is equal to 2 is our first root and first solution which is a real number. Now here we will solve this quadratic equation. Here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find the roots of this quadratic equation. Now to use the quadratic formula here first we will write the values of a, b and c that we need in the quadratic formula. So the here the value of a is 1, the value of b is 2, and the value of c is 5. Now the quadratic formula to find the roots of this quadratic equation is, here the variable is a, this will become the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2. A. Here we substitute the values of a, b, c from here. So this will become a is equal to minus b. The value of b is 2 plus minus square root of b square. No, b is 2 square minus 4. A is 1 and c is 5 divided by 2 times 1. Let, let us simplify this right hand side. So this will become a is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of 2 square is 4 minus 
4 times minus 4, 4 times 5 is 20. So this will become minus 20 divided by 2. Now next we can write this right hand side as minus 2 plus minus. No, this will give same 4 minus 20 is minus 16 divided by 2. Now we will further simplify the square root numbers. This will become a is equal to minus 2 plus minus. We can write this negative 16 is 16 times negative 1 divided by 2. So next we will split this square root over 16 and negative 2. So this will become negative 2 plus minus. This will become square root of 16 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. Now next further it will become minus 2 plus minus. Here square root of 16 is 4 and square root of negative 1 is a complex identity iota i. This will become i or iota divided by 2. Here we will take two common from the left hand side. So this will become taking two common. So this will become minus 1 plus minus 2 iota divided by 2. So here we will cancel these two and these two. So here only minus 1 plus minus 2 iota as that which are two values. So finally we have three possible values of a here. The first value of a is which is a real number that is 2. So this will become a1 is equal to 2. This is our first real solution. Now the second solution is a t is equal to minus 1 plus 2 iota. This is our second solution which is a complex solution and the third solution is a3 is equal to minus 1 minus 2 iota. So this is our third solution which is also a complex solution. Now here we will try to verify this first one solution which is a real date. This solution a1 is equal to 2 is exact and correct solution of this interesting algebra math problem or not. So we will verify it here. Now to verify the first value of a that is a real number here we will write the problem here. Now this is the problem and here we will replace a with its value that is 2. So this will become 2 times 2 times 2 times plus 2 is equal to 10. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So this will become 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. Now 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 is equal to 10. Now since both sides are equal, so it means that the real value of a that is a is equal to a1 is equal to 2 is the exact and correct value of a. Now in last, if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye bye.